Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Exploited, a college movie about uh, webcams and simps, and uh, it basically turns into another screen. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys books 1 through 8. Uh, check it out. You have been checking it out. And thank you for buying my books. Um, so basically this is a, sort of a different version of Scream. Uh, it's about guy who comes to college and he gets this flash drive that has secret information on it and but he's kind of a normal guy I guess he immediately gets into college and starts having sex with dudes because he's gay I assume and then there's this killer who's like a gimp <laughs> the gimp killer uh, he's killing guys or attacking people who use webcams Something like that. And then there's a bunch of beautiful people in this movie having sex with each other. And then a rampant murderer. So that's pretty much, you could pretty much write the rest. Beautiful people having sex. And then a guy kills every other one of them. And there is drama. And that's about it. I, you know, it's... It's tip. It's it's really a typical '80s movie. Uh, when you get right down to it, although this shot, this girl with the shotgun's pretty intense. It's, it gets a little intense towards the end of the trailer. People beat wailing on each other and killing each other. Um, you know, will this be a good movie? I mean, if you like these kinds of movies, I think it will be. I think it'll be okay. I don't like these kinds of movies. I think they're stupid. Um, typically the, the, the teenagers, typically it's teenagers, but in this case it's college age. I mean, it's upgraded for the modern era. It'll have a lot of titillating stuff in it. Um, if you like seeing dudes having sex with each other, I guess. Uh, typically back in the old days here, here someone gets, I think she gets shot through the eye hole. I'm not sure. Typically in the old days, it would just be all straight characters, but. Okay, you want to open it up to people who are gay, I guess. I I don't know if that broadens the appeal or limits it. Because on the one hand, yes, you're broadening it maybe to gay teenagers. Essentially, this is a teenager movie. Um, but teenagers are also, at least in my era, they're kind of like, they don't want to see a movie with gay stuff in it. Now, back in the day, it was more like, ah, you know, you don't want to be associated with that. These days, maybe it's more of a better association. I don't know. But I, I for me personally, you know, I'm not interested in seeing a scene with two guys having sex with each other. I'm just not. And, you know, I am interested in seeing hot 20-something girls uh, taking off their clothes, but you know, if you're going to split that up with guys, you know, it's it's less appealing to me, but then again, I'm not the demo for this, and I kind of don't like these movies anyway. Um, you know, from a story standpoint, it's pretty basic, right? First act, uh, looks like they, they promote it by starting off with a guy getting killed, or attacked. I don't know if he gets killed, it Seems like the guy who gets attacked in the beginning of this trailer doesn't die. And then he's still around. So maybe he just attacks him and then slowly ramps up to killing people. Then uh, the, the real first act is this new kid coming to school. I guess he's gay uh, or bi or whatever. And he moves in and finds this hard drive with some evidence of the attack. But he, he's immediately, like, reaching down his pants the moment he sees something online. And I guess they're going to play the game because there's a hot girl and the guy messing with himself uh, watching her. So the question is which, which uh, person he's, he's touching himself over. And then later it turns out he's gay and he ends up with some guy in a room having sex with him. Um, and then, you know someone gets attacked or killed and then it just 
all snowballs from there, right? Second act, slowly the gimp killer ramps up. I guess you'd call him the gimp killer. Uh, he ramps up and ramps up uh, across the second act. It, it, yeah, see, you don't know which one he's going after here. Um, and this is his uh, roommate who's got a girlfriend who may be gay. I don't know. Um, so, and then slowly more and more people die or get attacked. Here, here's the gimp killer. And then finally, at the end, it's, you know, they're running away from the killer, and it's like, who is he, and do they figure it out? I don't know why it's called exploited. That doesn't seem, uh, maybe because he got exploited, the killer, and it's, he's kind of an incel, he's a simp getting his revenge, I guess. Um, you know, and then in the end, he's revealed, and then he dies. And then we start a franchise, I guess, is the hope. I, you know, they used to crank these movies out in the in the 80s all the time, and I was sick of them then. And I was the demo back then. And even though they had nothing but hot chicks in them, I still was like, eh, I don't want to see that. Eh, I don't want to see it. It's not scary. It's just stupid. Um, so this is sort of a modern take on that. You know, if you like these kinds of movies, I guess. Not for me. Uh, I, I don't think in terms of its quality and the story. I mean, it's good they updated it. Seems a bit convoluted. There's just too many characters. Uh, you probably should have just focused on the one main guy and given us a little more data in the trailer about him or the killer or both. Why the, the killer's going after people might have been nice a little bit little bit more ammo there to get people to go see it. So I think this will be a direct-to-video kind of thing. And maybe some people will watch it because, I don't know, they love Scream so much they can't get enough of it. And that's it for me, Tony D. and Little Joan. Uh, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. we got a Hollywood cop take and a news blast. And we'll see you in the next one.